Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. It has been a while, uh, mainly because Dragalia has just been kind of waiting for the new collab event. But before we can get to that new collab event, there's a Gala Dragalia that's going to start um, on the 26th, I guess technically Black Friday. It depends on your time zone. It's going to be Gala Leonidas. It looks like he is the only unit on this banner, which I don't know how long it's been since the last time a Gala unit was just one unit. It's been a very long time. I think the last one might have been Mars. Tell me if you remember. But anyway, today's video, we're going to go over Galileonitis, see what he does, um, kind of give my thoughts about him. And of course, if you end up liking this video, remember to leave a like, comment about how you feel about Leonidas in general. Do you like his look? Do you like his style? Do you like his gun? All that good stuff. Um, and of course, you can subscribe to me if you want some more Dragalia stuff. I play the game all day. I don't always record videos on it because sometimes I just don't know what to record all for Dragalia's sake. But anyway, let's get into it. Leonidas, uh, let us discover the truth of this world together, my brother. Um, if This is also spoilers, by the way, I guess, for the story. Gal <laughs> Leonidas is technically kind of a good guy. He's in a redemption arc now. Um, the first scion of the kingdom of Alberia, he seeks to unify not only South Grastia, is that how you pronounce it? That doesn't matter. But the whole of the world in order to free it from the dragon's rule. As proof of his resolve, he has taken on brilliant crimson garb. Alright. Uh, Sovereign Barrage. It's a shareable 5 cost skill. Um, deals flame damage to enemies directly ahead and inflicts scourged? Scourned? Scourned. Scourned. Sure. Uh, it's not a real word, so I have no idea how to pronounce it. Um... Absolute Dominion. It's going to be really funny when it turns out that is a real word. Uh, Absolute Dominion um, deals flame damage to surrounding enemies, dispel one buff from each target, and grants the user the Draconian Grace effect. Draconian Grace has five progressively more powerful levels. Level 1, for 40 seconds, reduce damage taken by 10%. Level 2, for 40 seconds, increase strength by 5%, and reduce damage taken by 10%. Uh, level 3, for 40 seconds, increase strength by 5% and reduce damage taken by 15%. Level 4, for 40 seconds, increase strength by 10% and reduce damage taken by 20%. Level 5, for the remainder of the quest, increase strength by 10% and reduce damage taken by 20%. If Draconian Grace is granted while already active, it will be raised one level. Conversely, it will be lowered one level when the effect's remaining time is depleted. If the effect is in, is at level one, when this time when the when this time is depleted, it will be instead removed entirely. Oh, huh, okay. So that kind of means. Okay, so for forty seconds, you're at level one, and if at any time during that um, time you go to level two, it resets the clock. You're back at forty seconds, and now you have the second effect. But if you let all forty seconds pass, you go back to level one. But you don't lose the effect until... Okay, I think I got it. I was trying to work it out in my head. That makes sense. Gauge Accelerator, 20%. Speeds the rate the mode gauge decreases by 20%. Benefits the whole team. Flame combo equals Shapeshift Preparation 5. If a team member is attuned to flame, fills 3% of their Dragon Gauge for every 50 hit combo. Benefits the whole team. Mmm... Conquering Scion 2, when shape- I like this, the reason I'm like that is because I kind of like it to be used with, um, Mim. Um, when shapeshifting, Leonidas will transform into Mars regardless of what dragon he is equipped with. When the Draconian Grace level 5 effect is active, Leonidas' shapeshift time will be halved, but the amount of the dragon gauge consumed by shapeshifting will only be halved. If Leonidas shapeshifts while the effect is active, Draconian Grace level 5 will be consumed when his shapeshift is undone. Huh. Conqueror's Will 2 reduces susceptibility to stun by and sleep by 100%. Ruthless Ign Ignition 2 increases damage to scorrent enemies by 30% and damages the enemies with overdrive state by 10%. Okay, cool. Um, hmm, I kind of like the look of him. I definitely think he looks pretty interesting. He also is a mana caster, so rip trying to get him for me i have not been able to pull a single mana caster the only one i got was i have one mana caster i technically have two because joe is a mana caster um but they've just been super hard for me to get because there's not a lot of them in the banner so all my chances of ever getting one are very low um 
So I kind of like it that he's the only one featured because if there were any other featured units on this damn banner, it would be damn near impossible to actually get them. At least I think it would be. Um, in terms of his build, I think it's very interesting. I like that. So if he shapeshifts into Mars, does that mean he gets the ability of Mars? So that's the kind of thing is that what I'm trying to get here is that I think this is the first time a dude has turned into a dragon that is already an established dragon. So what? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no. If you have Mars equipped and you use Mars, then you would get Mars' effect back. So that would mean that you would get all your... Mm. I think a lot of people are kind of looking at the fact that it takes away the Draconian Grace Level 5 effect if you want to use the um, half, you know, the, this specific half of it, um, which I can totally see it being kind of a bummer for sure. Um, but you would be able to, I think, go Mars multiple times and in that instance be able to kind of like... I guess the thing I was trying to think about with Mars is whether or not he'll get the additional ability to hit again. You know how you charge up your skill twice with Mars? You get to use it once, and then as you hit more, it charges back up. I wonder if he's going to be able to keep that. Because that is what Mars does. So I don't know why it would be different for him. Hmm. Hmm. It's a lot of things we got to kind of figure out here, for sure. Um. But yeah, I like the look of him. I, I, kinda, I definitely do want him. He looks awesome. I, his full art can't be shown here. Let me see if I can quickly find his full art for you real quick. Okay, there it is. So he has a full-on Tommy gun. Uh, excuse me, Tommy Manicaster. Um, so it makes him look awesome as hell. At least to me, I think he looks awesome as hell. Um, that art is fantastic. Let's go back here. Um, the only thing I'm kind of unsure about is how quick he's going to be able to do stuff. So I'm assuming because that's a Tommy gun, he's going to be able to go super fast, and he's going to have a very fast AoE and stuff like that. Um, so it's going to be kind of fun to check him out. Um, but even if he ends up, he himself, not being like as good as we would want him to be, um, I would still want him for this chain co-op ability. I think the chain co-op ability and the co-op ability is pretty good. Um, I know it's not one... To, you should never chase a unit just because of a chain co-op ability being good. But when your favorite unit is Mim like me, I kind of like the idea of being able to have more stuff to kind of play with. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel about Leonidas. Now here's the hard part for you. Um, it's it, they. I think it's been pretty obvious if you've been playing Dragalia lately. Um, they have nerfed the drop rate of specifically worm and tickets we just don't get as many tickets as we get in the past um so i don't think it's going to be possible for you to go full on ham for galileanitis and also kind of go for the collab i'm almost positive 100 percent positive the guy like galileanitis will be better than any of the collab units coming up ahead um so if that's kind of your worry is if you're if you are a 100% fan of Galileanitis and you have enough stuff to potentially spark him, I would go for it. Again, if you are a big fan, the one thing I'm not a huge fan of is and it's funny because I was just talking about how it's been so long and I actually kind of like that it's like this. One kind of negative is that there's no other really featured unit. Um so there's a good chance that if you don't it, Here's what I would like it. Um that if because the sparking thing is that they're gonna have a dragon which dragon i don't know i would like it if you could sparking um if you don't know what sparking is it's basically the pity rate um after you do a certain amount of summons um and you haven't been able to pull the unit you want you can just kind of get the unit that you want but the thing is that because you can only really get one copy of an adventurer um if you have all the adventurers that are on featured then you have to get the dragon and if there's no featured dragons and they just put two random featured dragons for you to pick from um, and in terms of the pool of dra fire dragon units, um, there's not a lot of five star dragon units that aren't Mars that I would want, um, or anyone would want really. Um, Cerberus is pretty solid, but all of them kind of get outshone by Mars, but I would like it if they actually put Mars in the sparking, uh, choice for that matter just because it fits like it's leonidas you would want mars with leonidas regardless so that's kind of the way i see it is that it kind of makes sense i kind of hope they do it that way but that's something you, we can only speculate 
at least I can only speculate at this time. But yeah, that, that's him. He seems pretty cool. I'm going to be summoning for sure. I don't know if I'm going to have my video up right away, but I will have it up as soon as I can. Um, it is Thanksgiving. Uh, actually, chances are if you're hearing this, uh, if you're watching it today, because uh, I don't know when other day you would be watching me talk about Galileanitis, um, it is Thanksgiving. So, hey, happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. And I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one. And until the next video, stay frosty. I don't have an ending for my videos. I should work on that. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> have a good night and have a good day. Happy Thanksgiving.